Okay, welcome to the Venture 360 portal. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the actual application. This is the login screen where you're going to enter both your username and password provided by North. And once you log in, you're taken to a listing ventures page. So if you've conducted due diligence using this tool, this is where you're going to see all of your completed or partially completed ventures. And you can look at it alphabetically or by most recent. But for the purposes of this demo, let's assume that we have not yet created a venture. So we're going to go over here to the Create Ventures button. And then we enter the name of that venture here. And then we hit Create. And that takes us to the All Categories tab, where we're going to see all eight categories from Management Team down to Intellectual Property listed. We can also enter a brief description of the venture that we're about to evaluate here. And once we've done that, we're ready to begin the analysis process. So we click into Management Team. And with all categories, you're going to see an overview. And this helps educate the actual analysts on the category they're about to begin evaluation on. After reading that, we're ready to enter the tool. So you provide scores from 0 to 10 and the integrated scoring guide ensure scoring consistency across all venture elements. So we read the scoring guide, we determine where we want to score that particular venture element, and then we enter it in the line above. It's fairly intuitive. So just keep looking at the guide. We score. It's color-coded at the bottom. Green means you've completed. Red means you have yet to complete a particular venture element. You also see every time that I enter a score, you see it update with a saved here, and as well as a progress bar that says we've completed three of 11 venture elements. And because it's a web-based application, your data is also saved automatically. So if you don't click the Save a Next Element, it will save as a backup. At the end of each category, there's going to be a writing guide. This is where you enter a summary provide insight into the various venture element scores. In this summary, there's a character count which helps guide you as well. And once we're finished here, we hit save and next category and it automatically takes you to the next category, which would be economic model and you begin the process all over again. So once you've completed that, you go back to the all categories once you've completed one through eight, you fill out a report summary, which in this section, you enter various details regarding that venture. Everything from the URL to the number of employees, as well as which sector this venture fits into. And then once we've completed categories one through eight, as well as the report summary, we're ready to actually submit our draft report to the team at North. For the purposes of this demo, I've pulled up a report that has already been through the due diligence process. As you can see, here's the name of the venture. And every category one through nine has been completed. That means we're ready to submit the draft report. So we go over here, we click the button. It's generating the report. And then it goes to a North partner for review, where the report is checked for accuracy and scoring compliance. Now I'm going to walk you through the actual output of the due diligence process, called the Venture 360 report. At the front of each report is a one-page snapshot. This is meant to give investors a concise view of the investment opportunity through the actual eyes of the analysts that conducted the venture analysis. Here's the table of contents. You can see that all eight categories are represented, as well as the 80 venture elements through scoring, as well as comparative graphs to show you how the venture measures up to recently scored ventures in the database. 
at the very end of this document is a conclusion page where you can see the overall Venture 360 score and a comparative graph showing how the venture performed. Lastly is the conclusion write-up where the analyst points out the strengths and weaknesses of the venture in two pages. All in all, the report contains 20 plus pages of insights, scores, and analysis. Both investor and entrepreneur stand to benefit as each party is eventually seeking the same result, a significant return on both invested capital and time.